How does a gas golf cart start? If you've ever wondered how a gas golf cart springs to life when you press the gas pedal, you're about to find out. It's a fascinating process that involves several key components working together in harmony. First, let's start with the basics. When you turn the key switch on your golf cart, you're not just turning on the ignition, you're setting the stage for the entire starting process. Here's what happens next. When you press the gas pedal, it activates a micro switch or a plunger switch located underneath the pedal. This switch is crucial because it completes the electrical circuit that powers the starter motor. The switch is connected to the solenoid, which is essentially an electromagnetic device that controls the flow of electrical current. The solenoid has two main poles, one connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the other to the starter motor. When the microswitch is activated, it sends a 12 volt DC signal to the solenoid, which then closes the circuit and allows the full battery voltage to reach the starter motor. The starter motor, often referred to as the starter generator, is a dual function component that both starts the engine and charges the battery once the engine is running. When the starter motor engages, it turns the engine, creating vacuum that pulls air into the carburetor and fuel into the combustion chamber. Inside the carburetor, the air and fuel mixture is drawn into the engine cylinders. Here, the ignition system comes into play. The ignition system, which includes components like the pulsar coil and the igniter, generates a spark that ignites the fuel-air mixture in the cylinders, causing the engine to run. In some golf carts, like the Yamaha G1, the ignition system is a bit more complex due to its bidirectional operation for forward and reverse. It uses a single pulsar coil and a source coil to generate the necessary spark signals based on the crank position of the engine. However, the fundamental principle remains the same. The spark from the ignition coil ignites the fuel-air mixture, starting the engine. Once the engine is running, the starter generator begins to charge the battery, ensuring that the electrical system remains powered and ready for the next start. So, the next time you press that gas pedal and hear your golf cart roar to life, remember the intricate dance of switches, solenoids, and ignition components that make it all happen.